Hi and welcome to Embedded Controller Programming with Embedded C. I'm Norman McIntyre, your instructor. Here's a brief overview, best and most exciting courses you've ever taken. Great presentations and code demos. I'm Norman McIntyre. I'm the founder and president of Serving Corporation, a 25-year stealth mode tech consulting company. And what I have a BS and MS in computer engineering. I've done hardware engineering, both board design, system design and IC design, as well as software engineering, everything from low-level device drivers to high-level enterprise software. And of course, as it relates to the topic here, I've done tons of embedded C programming. In fact, related to that, here's some of the, the embedded C projects I've worked on over the last several years. All of these use embedded C. In fact, here I've zoomed in on this particular board. If we popped off this cover, uh, under this cover is one of the microprocessors that is very similar to the one we will be talking about in our course. Here's a block diagram of that particular board. And the reason this block diagram is important, when you go through this course, when you take on projects, embedded C projects, they often begin like this where you'll look at the type of processor you're using. So here I have a microprocessor. That's the STM32L486. So this is a communications processor. Here's an applications processor. Here's IO pins. And here's a radio transceiver. During this course, we'll be using the STM Discovery Kit IoT node. You can order it on the web. It's a production board. It's super cool. It's great for our embedded C programming. This is the microprocessor here. There's various I.O. devices on this. And the key thing for you is to know that all of this is accessible through Embedded C. And we'll be writing a number of code samples showing how you can access different peripherals, different I.O. devices that are on this board. Now some skills you'll learn in this Embedded C programming course. If you look at software and firmware as a stack, You'll be focused down here at the what's called the board support package, which is embedded C code uh, that's been customized for a given board, so board support package. You'll also be looking at what are called low layer APIs. The low layer APIs go direct to the registers that are on the processor. And you'll also be looking at hardware abstraction layer APIs, how APIs allow you to abstract the details of the hardware so your embedded C code can run on more than one hardware platform. We'll also be looking at the CMSIS, which is the Cortex-M, the R Cortex-M system interface standard, and we'll be seeing how we can use APIs from that. In summary, we'll cover embedded controller programming with embedded C. We'll use real hardware, this STM32L Discovery Board IoT node, and we will write, run, and debug lots of embedded C code. I'm Norman McIntyre. I hope to see you soon in embedded controller programming with embedded C. Thank you.